if you want to get better at zigzag dribbling, forget the jaw cones, they're outdated. Next time, when you want to do your cone samba and you want to dance through the little slalom dribble and learn how to zigzag dribble, well, forget that one. They don't work as good as you're made to believe they do. You don't need cones to learn how to zigzag dribble. Today, we're gonna go a second one out of five crucial skills what you have to know if you want to improve your dribbling. But, bad news for you. When you start training without Joe Cones, there's always the possibility that you don't have the imagination for it. But, if you can't imagine yourself in a game situation without Cones, then we have a bigger problem. So if you train zigzag dribbling without cones, you start developing your imagination as well. And in smart world, they call it creativity. And who wouldn't like to be called creative on a field? But when you do see the game situations without cones, your game inside will improve massively because your imagination kicks in. And that's where the creativity is. But the good news is, without the cones, you actually have to activate your brain and use it. It's not a bad thing. Let's forget the cone samba and let's dive right into the zigzag dribbling. The basics are pretty simple. All you gotta do is to alternate your feet every touch. So this makes you naturally take the touch with the inside or outside foot, what we normally would use when you zigzag dribble. And of course, there will be a pattern, which is a quite a tongue twister. Outside, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside, outside, inside. Hey, I got it. Let's see how that works in a little jog. It's a nice little agility and the weave is up to you. Do you want to do small weaves? Do you want to make big weaves? It's all about your touch. The bigger the touch is, the faster the tempo is. The last one will be a little bit harder already because you start dribbling straight forwards, and in the middle of the straightforward dribbling, you start weaving it. So now there's a natural, all the sudden change of direction. When you do it, it's of course up to you. You have to find the right timing. But I can guarantee you, there is no upper limit on this drill. It's your skill, what is the upper limit? That's getting pretty tough already. It's getting pretty complicated.